Did I everyone? Welcome back to my humble little studio. Um gonna be mucking around playing a little bit with this little mold that I made of a lady beetle. Uh, and I know I said I wasn't going to use molds in the last video I said no more molds but um, I just made some I was still trying to perfect the uh, the gold and silver metallic inks and I wanted to try them out in here so that's why it's the easiest is to do it there and I also have some little little drops that I made well I made I just didn't want to waste any of my resin so I thought I'll stick some in here and see how they work see if they'll stay down they should I've got another one just put, or maybe I'll get three see if I can find another little one come on come on oh no where'd he go now I might pop you over here. I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, they're not going to go in. I don't know if they'll stay there or if they'll move. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's just an experiment. I could glue them down with resin. But I won't. I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's get some, yep, yeah, let's get my gold. Got to mix it because it's a real pigment. It's not like a dye or anything like that. It's a real pigment that's or a tint. So you got to make sure that it lifts off the bottom. That way you'll get a stronger pigment. And then you go in here. How many drops? I need three, four, five, six. You're gonna need sort of a few. Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? Didn't even need that many. Give it a good stir. I want to give it a good stir. Now these are water-based. So, there we go. Look at that. Nice. I might put another couple of drops in there. Just to see how far I can push it. Three, four, ooh, about four went in there. <laughs> Just want to make sure that that is nicely mixed. And then I might just get like a really, maybe a, like a bright, I want to know if I'm going to get, go with a pigment or a paste. I might even go with a, like a black. Uh, maybe a black. Yeah, I will go with the black. Just pitch black um, tint. One, two, three, four, five drops going in there. And with that silver, this will probably turn into like a purpley colour. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. If you want a true black that doesn't bleed purple like this one, get mid Midnight Black. But I don't have it at the moment. So I usually I have a lot of it. It's just run out. Run out very popular and then we're going to do the silver in it goes oh forgot to shake it shake it if you want to make it make it you gotta shake it shake it see this one don't have to shake as much not as much as the gold let's go two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten went in Stirry, stirry. Need to really stir it in. Look at that. And it needs more. Yeah, 
think I'm gonna have to add some more pigment to this one to make it a bit stronger so you don't have to use as many drops mainly because of the ratios and also because you know of the trying to stir it all in so it'd be easier if you got lesser amount to put in there and uh, stronger pigment sort of thing okay so I'm gonna go in with I reckon I'm gonna go in with the black first I think I want to alternate <laughs> I am playing, I'm really playing with these. Okay, shall I go with the black first? Make sure these are stuck in there. I'll probably lose them now going in with the black first. I don't know. I'll go in with the gold. I should have used red, shouldn't I? Red and black. Bugger me. Uh, maybe I can still go with the red. I don't even have a red in here. Which I don't, so I have to go up in the house to grab a red. No. No red. I gotta get the red. Gotta have a red. Yay, I'm back. I got sassy red. I have to go to the shop because I ran out of my stash. I can't believe it. Probably gave it to someone. Because uh, it's not sort of one that I use often being a red but it is a gorgeous red it is a one true red on the market and if you would like a true red this is it look at that don't waste any of that goodness all right and it will stain like buggery so make sure you clean everything um Look at what I've done. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get another little cup. And pop that in there. Yeah, gotta have a red. With a lady beetle. Although, it's not going to be your traditional lady beetle figurine. Because, like I said, I'm testing out how these metallics will go in here. Um... I have to clean that before. My gosh, look at that. Look at this. See what I mean? I like to work with clean utensils and clean everything, so. I better. Okay. Yeah. That's that red. Here's the Sassy Red, by name, by nature. Okay, let's go, just a little bit. Tiny little, not even a pea size goes in there. And give it a little stir. This will be very interesting. I might actually use my pouring cup for these. So I've got four cups. Where's my four good? I've got three good here. Um, okay, so I will use this one, two, three, four. We'll go that way. This is what we're going to use. We're gonna, I think we're going to put the red in the middle. Ah. And then we might do the the black next to it. Oh, oh, I nearly poured it inside it. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Let's go silver. 
So we're now let's go gold next to red. Let's do silver next to black. And that's how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna pour it in. I wasn't planning on doing it this way, but it, um, yeah, this is how we're gonna go with it. Let's go. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Come on, guys. Trying to get this all in together. Come on. I might have to squeeze this one because it's not coming out. Oh, no. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Let's go. The gold is coming in first. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. It's very dark. Let's see. Oh, that silver's pulling in. Look at that on the top. Very interesting. Just going to use up whatever I have left in here. Pour it in the top. Well, just to top it up, no particular reason. And also, yeah, I can see what's going to happen. Here we go. All right. All righty. <laughs> All right, let's just get something else, get another mold. Because we've got a little bit left, not a lot, but a little bit. Let's empty these properly. Get in there. Come on, my son. That's that one. Now let's do the gold. What was here? Black. This was pitch black tint. You want a true black and midnight black, which I don't have at the moment in the shop, but we'll get soon. Actually, Julie cuts from pouring your heart out. I was asking about it, and I only had one left. So I'd like to get some more because she likes that one, and she likes to have more than one. I have to arrange something for her. All right, nice and clean. Right now, we'll find something to pour on. Okay, so I've got this coaster. I've got those little drops, droplets in there. I'm just going to pour straight on top of that and see how it works. And how oh nice can you even see up there I think you can well it's not that gold hold is definitely taken over look at that I wonder what would happen if I change the direction.
Oh, that gold's amazing. So I can see already that gold is really consistent and it looks really good. The silver is a little bit, I don't know, it looks powdery. It's sort of scattery, not uniform like the gold. So I'll have to work on that. I like to work on that. Oh wow, that's looking really good. Okay, so we're gonna just heat it up a little bit. Might take this attachment off. I'm going to leave it like that now. It's doing its own thing. I can see some cells popping up. It's doing its own thing, so I'm just going to leave it to do what it wants to do. And then I'll be back when it's um, all done. Just going to spray that one with some alcohol. I have some bubbles on top. We don't want the bubbles. Okay, we're going to see how we go with this. That's for sure. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so it's been several hours. This is set. It's still not cured completely, but I still want to see what happened and how it looks on the other side. So I'm going to um, have a go at it, have a look, just be very careful. Probably should wear gloves so I don't ruin this. I just want to see what it looks like on the other side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> my little drops wow that's cool <laughs> that is cool I love it I love that that's so cool I didn't get any special effects from anything else but I love that well, that's good enough that is good enough for me those little drops, which, are, which were like this, and I just poured straight on, and look at that. That's amazing. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so let that sit. I'll put it back in there in its mold, just to, you know. Oops, get back in there because you can never put it back in properly. There we go. Then now, I don't think I should be taking this one, although this should be more solid because it was, yeah, this one's definitely more solid. I am curious to see how this one turned out. My little lady beetle mold that I made comes out super easy. It's still a little bit soft, so I've got to be careful. I don't wreck it. Oh, oh yeah, I've got my drops. The drops. Oh wow, the drops stayed. I'm gonna bring you down. It is. I am cheating because I'm, this is still not solid. But wow, okay, this is very interesting. So here it is, it's super cute, there's my little, is it, yes it is, there's my little, what's supposed to be that little droplet, but you can really see it here, it worked really well here, I'm trying to zoom in. There it is. Oh, that looks good. I might try that again. Right. 
Very cute. Very cute. I like the little lines that you get when you do that kind of pour. All right, well, that's very interesting. What's happened here? It's very bubbly. Look at that. I mean, it's smooth, but uh, it's like it's got... That's that silver that does that. How interesting. There's actually a hole there. I only just realized it now. So the resin didn't go through properly. Very interesting. I don't mind it though. It's so cute. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Do it again? Try that system again with the with the droplet? Yeah, I reckon I will do that. I reckon I'll try it again. I've got plenty of them. I might as well. Good. That's it for now. Bye for now.